My name is Kyle Wessling and I am a die-hard collector. Um, my first comic book, I was eight and my brother brought home a 2000 AD comic book with Judge Dredd. It was amazing, my first comic. Absolutely loved it and I drew my first picture of Judge Dredd from that comic book. When I was 12, I started the paper run and actually started getting folded money. There was a shop in Walls End in Newcastle in New South Wales that I went into there one day and I found three superpowers figures from DC, Canamade, um, it was Calabac, Green Arrow and Firestorm. And I think I paid $4.95 each or something for them. And I bought all three of them, I took them home, I broke them open and I had them in my hand and I just realised these were works of art, they weren't just a toy. And, and that just started the ball rolling. When I was a little bit older, I started the Batman animated series come out and I had to get all them figures because they were just, you looked at the figures, looked at the TV show and they were spot on. They were one of the best made toys of the time. And then I found eBay. Oh, it could be the best or the worst thing ever for me. And my collection just grew and grew and grew. And it got to the point that I actually started doing fairs because my stock levels were so high I couldn't move in my house. One of my favourite hunts I ever went on was a random. I was at home on eBay and I put in Batman Pinball Machine and one of them popped up not 2K from my house. I got the Jack Nicholson Mark Keating version. I wasn't sure about buying it but he plugged it in and the first words that come from that machine was this town needs an anima and I just went sold, that's mine. It was in the thousands and I was saving up for a car, second car for our family and I wasn't supposed to spend that money on a pinball machine, but got it for a pretty good price. Something that I've thought about selling a few times to get out of rough times, but I'm so glad it never went through. I've amassed a great personal collection of I, I love. It's my happy area. When it gets too much, I can go and sit in that room and just look at all my toys, all the pieces of art, all the sculptures, and just, it's my happy place.